Hello. God bless you. I would like to talk to us today about certain fundamental issues that hinders people's glories, that hinder our aspirations, that hinder societal developments. Relatively, most of these hindrances are genetic, while others are acquired. By genetic, I mean the ones we inherited from our parents. And by acquired, I mean the ones we inherited, the ones we acquired from societies. But there are fundamental limitations that hinder our aspirations. A lot of women, in a bid to really marry or get the right partner, or people of their choices, they consulted oracles, mediums, and they made promises there. Yes, those things they desire finally came to pass or were actualized. But on the power of the human, they fail to give their own part of their bargain. Hence the problems the children are passing through today. This world is filled with convoluted realities. There's so much complications in this world. Whatever is happening in the physical has been set in the spiritual. That is why some of us who try to understand the motives behind creation, the motive behind existence, the motives behind, you know, good and evil, or what I call good and weakness, we try to focus more and dwell more on the spiritual than the carnal or the bodily. Life is larger than logic. Certain forces rule this earth. It didn't just happen by accident. This earth was premeditated, you know, coordinated, you know, calculated before its creation. The biosphere, we are one life today. Even other parts of this universe, the multiverse, or, you know, Miku, almost every one of them is guided by different fundamental spiritual laws. You need to get to that reign for you to understand the laws or the rules that govern those universes. Or accommodative us. So I expect us to really understand the motivation behind our creations or behind our formations. If your parents are still alive, ask them, Mom, Dad, where did you go to before my formation? Did you and Mom plan my formation? Was I planned before conception? Or did I just happen? Are you people enjoying yourselves? What are the promises you made to each other? What are the vows you made to nature? What are the vows you made to fire, water, air, land, and sea? What are the vows you made to the river? Where did you go to? How did you meet? Was I a really wanted child? Was I a wanted child? Did you really plan for me? Did I happen like that? There are certain fundamental questions I begin. You know, I want you to begin to ask so that you understand the nature of your reality. So understand, you know, the genesis of what you're passing through, the genesis of your formation. Some of us are byproduct of vows, spiritual, physical. Some vows were made to some idols, some fetish idols before our creation. Some consulted the trees, the village river, the oracles, some consulted mediums. So make promises to the air, land, and sea, which they are not keeping today. So the children are really suffering over this. So we are giving birth to girls, girls, in their quest to really get boys. They went to oracles, made promises. And when these boys come, you see the kind of things that follow them. I'm not against oracles, because most of them are born again as well. But relatively, I know. The devil has no free gift. It's give and take. If he gives you one, takes two from you. The devil doesn't really give you what you want without taking what you what you need. And most of this we want are vanities, material, fleshly things. But the things Almighty God gives us are what needs. He knew we are going to be breathing in and out. We don't need to beg for oxygen. He made it abundant. 
He gave us our sight. He gave us wisdom. He gave us intelligence. He gave us imagination, which is one of the most beautiful things in life. The power to imagine, the power to traverse, the power to travel to different worlds while sitting at a place. The power of imagination is bliss. It's paradise for me on earth. The power of creativity, the power of love, of joy, the power to appreciate, the power to design, yeah, to know the left from right, the power of intelligence. It's relatively of important. Yeah. Some of these um, important, you know, inclinations or predispositions or gifts or talents, they are given to us like that. So we need to understand our source because we are all sparks of godliness. We are all sparks of div divine, divineliness. We are all sparks of celestiality. We are all parts of godliness. God is the big major fire. We are the sparks. As God is being fun, you know, the sparks, that's all. We are dropping on, you know, falling into this realm. We need to understand our source. And everything we are doing is just to go back to the major flame, which is God. That's what we call the consuming fire. Understand your reality. Then overcome your sinful nature. So ask your parents, how did I come about? What's your origin? Did my great-great-great-great-grandmothers, great-great-great-grandfathers, Make promises to any oracle, to any creation, to any idol, to any entity. Why are things working the way they're working for? Why is the marriage not working? Why is business not working? Why is political aspiration being hindered? Why don't we have geniuses in our families? Why is it that everybody's being limited? There's a level everybody gets to in this family, then they start going down. Why is that nobody wants to break the yoke? Why is that nobody has break the, broken the genes? And, you know, and become somebody in society. You need to ask yourself, why did I come from a broken home? Why did your marriage work? Why is this, you know, continuous hatred in the family? Why, do, why are we self-predatory? Why do we eat, eat, eat one another? Why are we expressing, pull him down, pull her down? Why do we have PhDs in destruction? Why are we PhD holders in destruction? Why don't we have procreators among us? Why don't we have inventors? Business moguls, you know, non politicians, geniuses, you know, academicians, scientists. Why don't we have these powerful people from our families? Why are, you, why are the children being hindered mentally, psychologically, intellectually, biologically? What are the sociological factors? What are psychological factors? Why are we not experts in biological sciences? Why don't our sons and daughters go into engineering, medicine, law, physics, all those things, you know? Why don't we have, you know, astronomers in our family? Why don't we have astrophysicists? Why don't we have business that comes? Why don't we have priests? Why don't we have real, you know, people that the society can be proud of in our families? These are the questions you need to start asking yourself. Because it all goes back to the family at the end of the day. Because family is the sum of reality. It is the sum of life. It is the unit of existence. It is the place where minds are made up. In one of my recent books, I said something. To understand the mind, consult the land. But to heal the land, Understand the mind. Because the land is the sum of the mind. One of my books, I said, The Man and the Mind. To understand the land, because the mind, because the mind rules the land. Life is larger than logic. We need to understand our foundational problem, foundational issues, foundational concord, agreement, community, you know? We need to understand. The covenants that we are entered before our creation, before our formation, so that we can understand the source of our problems, you know, the source of our insecurity, inharmony, marital failures, all those things, genetic irregularities, sociological hindrances, you know, political that you know dissensions. We need to understand. Why it looks like nobody from that family does well. Nobody, no, no, the children. I know there are a lot of hindrances, but not breaking the barriers. And attaining greatness. Understand your source. If you must take care of the menace. And you know, I cut this, you know, it, nonsense or nuisances prevailing. You need to understand your source, the motivations behind your source, the originations, the ori you know, orientations, the backgrounds, what incubated your existence, who incubated your existence, where, how, why, when. Trace your genealogy. 
it's not about gynecology, it's not about women, it's not about what happened when you're being formed and all those things, women and their problems. I don't know. Trace your genealogy, go back to your roots, understand why we are you enslaved, why we are you sold, why this predation, what did your forefathers do, what did your mom, you know, you know, pro progenist, what did progenitors, what did the ancestors do? Go back and find out. We are they sinners, we are they criminals, we are they murderers, we are they killers. Why should somebody's child be shot in the street? Why should you train a child graduate from medical college? The dog taking the they, they shot the child. Why should somebody be here? There? Why is that child turning into you know gangs and cult and armed robbery? Why are the most educated, the most corrupt among us? This is all the education they go to the office, they steal the money meant for the public. Understand all this. Some of us are labeled as a result of causes. Did your father disappoint any woman supposed to marry? Did that woman lay a curse? Did your mother disappoint the previous lover? The lovers lay a curse. Where their names taken to native doctors, all these oracles and juju. What has been happened? Where your parents cursed using the river, using the fire, using the air, using the water, using day and night. What kind of curses are you laboring on under? You know? Where your parents screaming us, we are the colonial masters, we are the murderers, we are the invaders, we are the assassins, we are the torturers, we are the spies. Who inculcated you? Who motivated you? Who originated you? What were their agreements? You know, we have we entered what are the covenant that we entered on your behalf, even before your formation. Some of them say, Give us what, our children, children, children will become this, our children, children, children will serve this. Then, when these children wake up and come up in life or are born, conceived, trained, they don't know the left from the right, but they start suffering for what they don't know. That will call inherited causes, inherited biases, inherited tortures, inherited slavery. Some of us are criminals by proxy. Some of us are sinners by proxy. Some of us are idol worshippers by proxy. Because that's what our progenitors, our forefathers, entered on our behalf. We are children of promise. So I expect you to look at your root, look at your background, look at the reason why the marriage is not working. Why, well, like, no man comes your way? Your real marital age is not happening. Look at your life again. Take a look at the forces that incubated you, at the forces that had an agreement before your formation. Take a look at your family now. It's up to the seventh age generation. Take a look at your mother's side, the father's side, patrilineal lineage, matrilineal lineage. Before you take this long walk into your past, you understand what's happening in your present. Then you can now harness and have a clearer picture of how to go into the future. Because the nature of your future is determined by the, you know, by the foundational relationships of your past. You are the byproduct of other people's choices. You didn't ask to be made. You didn't ask to be born. You're not consulted. Even your names, your city, relatively your religion and all those things, your sex, all those we are byproducts of other people's choices. Chromosomal combinations. 26 for your father, 26 for your mother, whatever it is, or 23, 23. 23 for your father, 23 for your mother, from the chromosomes and all those things. And when it exceeds that, we know what happens. Down syndrome and the rest of them begin to come in. So I want you to really understand the foundation of your past. Let me not go into biology and let us concentrate on psychology and spirituality. Go into your past to locate your present, then to transform your future. I love you all. Remain rapturable. God bless you. As you understand the reason or the excuse why you're passing through what you're passing through, why you are where you are now, and where you will you be, where you're going to be. God bless you. I love you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.